Do you know that simple edge over the market will give you a big advantage in your trading? Because trading is a business of probability. So when there is a probability, the more confluence you will have, the better you will have chance of winning the trade. Fibonacci retracement, it's a smart trading tool used by many, many traders. So today I will show you a tool that will give you an edge over the market. This tool will help you to find entry, exit point, and also analyze the market properly. So today in this video, I will discuss everything about Fibonacci tool. And at the end of this video, you will be able to learn what is Fibonacci retracement, how to use this tool, how to find proper entry and exit using the Fibonacci retracement tool. For those who don't know me, just let me introduce myself. My name is Nizam. I'm a professional trader and also author a trading view. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing because there is a lot of valuable content in this channel that will help you to become profitable. With that said, let's begin. Okay, so first thing you need to first remember is that market will never move in a straight line. So there will be always a rise and fall, rise and fall if it is going in an uptrend. So let me draw an ideal market scenario. So say the price is here, right? And the buyers start to buy. So what will happen? The price will go up. At certain point, the market will come for a correction like this. So this is this leg is called a retracement or Fibonacci retracement and after a certain point what will happen again the buyers will buy the market will go up again and the and again there will, it will come for a retracement or correction and again buyer will buy the market will go so this is an ideal scenario in an uptrending market so this is first thing you need to if it is in a downtrend then what will happen there will be a fall and followed by a correction like that Again, there will be another fall followed by a correction like this. So in that case, sellers are in control. The market is falling. But at certain point, the buyers or sellers taking the profit. So why this retracement happen is because when the buyers bought here and the market moved here, after a certain point, some buyers might take their profit. So when they take profit, the price fall for temporarily. Now, this is not an end of the trend. It is just a short term correction and that is where normally people enter there the, if they want to buy again or long trade. So this is called the Fibonacci retracement and that is what we need to measure to see how much retracement happened. Now how do you do that? This is the tool that is used for Fibonacci. So this tool, this is called the Fibonacci tool. If you see uh, on the screen, this is in trading view. Now, after clicking this, what you will do is say this is an imp the price started here, right? This is the starting of the move and this is the end of the move. So what you will do, you will place your Fibonacci from the starting of the move to the end of the move and you will get all the level in Fibonacci. Now this, after drawing this, you see some value here. If you double click on this tool, then you will get all the value here. Now there are a lot of levels that we don't need. So I just unchecked all these boxes. You can take a screenshot of this and see how this works. The main concern that we need to consider is this value, this which is 38.2, this value which is 61.8, this value which is 50 or 0.5, this value is 78.6%. So these are the Fibonacci level that we will be considering when we are measuring. So after placing this, you see the, the value is here. So these are the Fibonacci levels that we will be looking at. Now, when there is a retracement, the price came here, right? So when the, when the price came here, this is 38.2% Fibonacci retracement. When the, the price came further below, this is what we will be considering 50% Fibonacci retracement. But if the price can come further down, that is what we will call 61.8% Fibonacci retracement. 
Fibonacci retracement. So these are the level. Now, the, the first question you might be asking that, then how do you know when is this retracement is stopping and another impulse will start? So this is the question. Now to know that, the first thing you need to know that it will depend on the market structure. Remember Fibonacci tool is not only the tool that you can use for trading. It is a confluence that you will add to an existing trading strategy. Now, either the price will come to 38.2 Fibonacci or 50% or 61.8 depends on the past market structure. Now I'll show you in a clear example what I mean by market structure. Okay, so we'll see this example how to use Fibonacci tool. But before we ex uh, use this Fibonacci tool, let me explain what factor will depend on how much retracement will make. The first thing you have to look at the past market structure. If it doesn't have a past market structure, then we will wait for a new market structure. So let me first give you an example where we have a past market structure. Now look at this example here. So what do you see the price? You see there is a double bottom formation. After that, what happened? The price started to move up. So this is a kind of trend change. So this is the first impulse followed by a correction. So this is a retracement to this level. And then there has been another impulse to this point followed by another correction. Then there has been another impulse. So what we will be doing, say basically we will be measuring this impulse, okay? So let me show you by drawing this line, impulse correction, impulse correction, impulse like that. So when you measure this retracement, you have to place your Fibonacci from starting of this impulse to the end of this impulse. So this is the swing low to the swing high. So in that case, what we will be doing is our take our Fibonacci tool. This is the starting of the move and this is the end of the move. So this point, is the starting point of the Fibonacci and this point is the end of the Fibonacci. So what do you see now is that the price, look at here, the price came to make max 61.8% Fibonacci level. Now, how do you know that why this, after this red candle, you can't think that this Fibonacci is over or af why do you think that after this what we can consider that the retracement is over. The first thing you can do is if you have a past market structure, look at the past like the back. What do you see? This is where you have a market structure, okay? So because we have a market structure in this level and we can consider this level is a confluence for Fibonacci retracement. This is the first thing you need to remember. So what happened, the price came here at 61.8% Fibonacci, then it started to move up. So if we have a past market structure like that, then we can expect this price to move back to 61.8 Fibonacci level and then start to move. This is the first thing you can do. In another scenario, if you do not have a past market structure, then how do you consider the Fibonacci retracement is over. Let's see an example where you don't have a past market structure. Okay, so let's see this example USD Turkish Lira on the monthly time frame. So what do we see that? See, there is a big impulse here, right? And after this red candle, then we can consider it is a starting for a retracement. Now, if you see on the left, it is historically high price. So you don't have anything on the left to consider as a market structure, right? You, you don't know where it, it is finding support here or here or where, where it is gonna stop. So in that case, if you see something like that, where there is no past market structure, then you need to wait for a new market structure to form here. Something like creating a double bottom, which is you can consider as a reversal pattern or a head and shoulder pattern or any kind of market structure that is creating as a new structure before it take off for a new impulse. Now, let's first place our Fibonacci level on this one. So take your Fibonacci. So this is the starting of the move and this is the end of the move. So these are the levels on the Fibonacci level. Now let's replay this chart to see what's happening. So there is one bar, see, it's 
still so if we draw all this level this is monthly that's so the, the the candle is creating slow so what do you see that it is creating a new market structure now look at this so it is creating basically what do you see a double bottom so what do you see look at this here so at 50 to 61.8 percent fibonacci the price retraced clearly to this level and then created one green candle one red candle and one green candle basically it created this double bottom so it has created a market structure at this level and then we can consider that this instrument retraced up to 50 to 60 percent fibonacci level and that is where you can go for long from this zone because there is no market structure in the past but it has created one here now after that what happened the price took off again to the upside and that's how you can consider the fibonacci levels now how do you enter the trade so after you see a fibonacci level either you have a past market structure or not you must need to wait for a price section pattern confirmation so that means you need to wait for a double bottom or a pin bar or whatever the entry reason you have before you take the take based on fibonacci you cannot take a trade only based on fibonacci level in that case you might have but you can use this tool as a confluence in your trading i sincerely believe that this video was really really helpful to you if you find value in this then thumbs up that will help me to reach more people and also don't forget to subscribe thank you for watching i'll see you in my next video